often I ask my students, and incidentally, I happen to teach classes in what I call life writing. And the idea of my classes is that if one writes their life story from the very beginning, from an earliest memory, and follows the entire course of their lives in the past, and at the same time keeps a journal of the present, they are very likely to find out who they are. And then I like to quote Socrates, who said that the unexamined life is not worth living. And another favorite quote of mine is by Kierkegaard, another philosopher who said that life must move forward, but it can only be understood backward. And then one of my axioms is, find out who you were to know who you are. So this is something that I've been doing for something like 26 years and have been very, very dedicated to doing. I do believe that there is a great deal of power in the written word because the spoken word can be fleeting. We can say things that are quite profound, but then they can dissolve, they can evaporate or go away. But once a person writes a word, it's there. They can always reread it, they can communicate to another person through their writing, and they can leave a legacy of who they really are to people who follow them in generations to come. And so I have written a book about that, and the book is written in guided imagery. And so my, uh, the person who purchases the book and is interested in pursuing that action, it finds himself on a ship of memory, an imaginary ship of memory. And the ship of memory takes that person to all the islands of his or her life. And each island represents a major phase of living a life. So the first island is the one that I consider the most important, and that is Childhood Island. Because I do believe that Childhood Island is the first foundation of whoever we are. Our perception of life, I believe, begins in Childhood Island. And then it follows us all the way through our lives. It may change, it may make a very different uh, impression of what our life is like, but nevertheless, that first seed that occurs in Childhood Island is something that follows us and tells us who we are. As we are growing and changing, that seed is always there. So um, then I feel that the journal, oh, let me tell you this. After Port, after I, Ch uh, Childhood Island, the ship of memory comes back. After we've done all the investigating of Childhood Island, what our parents were like, what our grandparents were like, what school was like, and our best friends and everything that we can recall and write about Childhood Island. After we finish that, the ship of memory comes back and takes us to Teen Island. And Teen Island consists of stepping stones from 13 to 19. And each stepping stone has a different memory attached to it. Often there are certain popular songs that can bring us right back to that memory. And we go through all of teenage experiences on Teen Island. But the interesting thing about that is that on Childhood Island, we're asked to speak about our parents. We describe them and we describe our, our experiences with them what they're like as we perceive them. But when we get to Teen Island, our impression of our parents changes completely. And then we become the rebel and the teenager. And when we get to Maturity Island, which follows Teen Island, then the same thing happens. We see our parents very differently when we're an adult than we did when we were a child. So that's an indication of how our perception is constantly changing and moving as it will.
Within my head, there is a world of people pounding upon my brain for liberation. They laugh, they weep, they struggle and strive. They love and hate, know anguish and despair, hope and inspiration. I often see with different eyes than those within my head the chronicle of time past, the net cast upon the present, and the curtains open to the future. There are kings seated upon the throne of my imagination, and humble beggars, women who yearn for love, and men who love them or sin with them. They speak words to me and through me, demanding that I must set them down with my pen. They are more alive to me than anyone I know in this material world.